The Germans had first used swept wing fighters in World War II. Anyone with half a brain could tell the performance of a swept wing fighter was superior to that of a straight wing fighter. Despite that fact, the U.S. Navy admirals rejected swept wing fighters. The swept wing fighters were seen as too difficult to control at low speeds. This made them too dangerous to try and land on the rocking decks of a carrier. In June 1950, the Korean War began. From June to November 1950, the U.S. Navy was satisfied with its straight-wing fighters, such as the Panther. Then in November 1950, the enemy introduced into air combat the MiG-15 swept-wing jet fighter. This caused a mild panic in the U.S. Navy. The MiG-15 was superior to any U.S. Navy fighter. Only the Navy's Panther jet could barely hold its own with the MiG-15, and that was only because the Navy pilots were better trained and had more experience. Had it not been for the U.S. Air Forces providing protection with its F-86 swept-wing fighter, the MiG-15s could have made things very ugly for the U.S. Navy. The U.S. Navy needed its own swept-wing fighter fast. The Grumman Corporation suggested to the Navy it put swept wings on its existing Panther fighter. The Navy agreed to this. Grumman also did modifications to make the swept-wing design more stable at low speeds. The result was a Panther fighter jet with a swept wing now called the Cougar. The Cougar went into operation with the U.S. Navy in November 1952. The Navy was happy with its new swept wing Cougar. However, once the Navy had the Cougar, it became reluctant to use them in combat in Korea. By November 1952, Navy jets were relegated to ground attack missions in support of Allied soldiers. The U.S. Air Force's F-86 jets were assigned the MiG protection role. This arrangement would not be changed. So the Navy decided not to send any of its new Cougars to the Korean War. Instead, the Navy used up its old Panther fighters in ground attack missions. The Navy felt the Panthers were well suited for this role, despite the fact they suffered heavy losses from anti-aircraft gun fire. After the Korean War ended in July 1953, the Cougar became the U.S. Navy's most widely used jet fighter in the 1950s. The Cougar was the Navy's first swept-wing fighter. It also shared in two more firsts for the Navy that came after the Korean War. The Cougar was the first fighter to have an in-air refueling probe installed, and the Cougar was the first fighter to be equipped with an air-to-air -air missile, the Sidewinder. There were nearly 2,000 Cougars of all types built. Of this, 170 were photo reconnaissance planes. 60 of these were F9F6s and 110 were F9F8s. In the recon versions, the four 20mm cannons were removed and replaced with several cameras. These were arranged to be able to film in several different directions at once. The photo recon Cougars were, were retired from service with the regular U.S. Navy in 1960. Some continued to serve with Naval Air Reserve units until the mid-1960s. Specifications. Crew, one pilot. Length, 45 feet. Height, 12 feet. Wingspan, 34 and a half feet. Loaded weight, 24,763 pounds. Maximum speed, 647 miles per hour. Ceiling, 42,000 feet. Range, 1,045 miles. Power plant, one jet engine with 8,500 pounds of thrust.